Hey you guys, welcome back to my channel. If you don't know who I am and this is your first time watching, hi, thank you for watching and clicking on my video. My name is Alex, but here on YouTube and on Instagram, I do go by Betty Rocket when I am in drag. If you want to see how I did this look using the Kylie Royal Peach Palette, please keep on watching. The first thing we're going to be doing is priming our face and moisturizing our face. Uh, the moisturizer that I use is the Cetaphil Oil Control because I do get very, very oily. <laughs> um, and I find that it actually does help with my, uh, to control my oiliness. So yeah, I'm going to go ahead and do my brows off camera and I'll be right back. So I went ahead and did my eyebrows off camera, and now we're gonna uh, prime our eyelids for the eyeshadow. Um, if I could just find it somewhere, I don't know where it is. <laughs> I have two favorite primers. It's Soft Ochre, and I like to use this when I'm working with uh, more matte eyeshadows. This one I like to use for more of the shimmery eyeshadows. This is the MAC Prep and Prime 24 Hour Extend Eye Base. But today, since we're working with uh, all matte shadows, we're going to be using the MAC uh, Pink Pot and Soft Ochre. Sorry if you can hear the music playing. Um, I just always have to have music playing when I do makeup. Otherwise, I, d I feel like it doesn't come out right. And then to blend that out, I'm taking my Morphe E27 brush. It looks like this. I kind of want to work fast with this eye base because it does dry down relatively fast. And yeah, a lot of you guys have been requesting me to do like a talk through video, so like this video if you found it useful. It does actually help YouTubers know like what you guys want and all that jazz. So now that we have our base laid down. We're going to take the star of the show, the Kylie Royal Peach Palette. The look that we're going to be doing is actually the one on the box itself. First brush that I'm taking, Morphe M505. I'm taking, what color is this? I believe this color is Sorbet. Kind of like this uh, peachy, creamy color. And we're going to take that on the crease. And then for these eyeshadows, because they're not super duper pigmented, I don't I don't tap off the excess. And then this is gonna act as your transition color. Okay, and then taking the same M5, what is this M505 brush? I'm gonna be taking Dandy. It's like this cool medium brown color and you're just gonna deepen up the crease a little bit and the reason I don't like to switch brushes when working with transition colors I find that it blends uh, the colors much better because it has a little bit of the previous product on the brush so that way when you're blending it doesn't look like just two colors you know what I mean blend you just go back and forth and then in circular motions. These eyeshadows aren't as pigmented as like MAC eyeshadows or Viseart eyeshadows. There's really no room for you to mess up too bad, so. And if it comes out jacked up, just see that it's art. And people say it's ugly, but like, it's because you don't understand art. We're going to be working on the eyelid. Morphe M224 brush. This is actually a concealer brush, but I like to use it as a lid brush. And the eyeshadow that we're going to be taking is Peachy. Right here. Peachy. And kind of just go all over the lid. And to get the most pigmentation out of an eyeshadow, instead of sweeping it, you kind of want to pack it on the lid. These eyeshadows aren't horrible, but they're not like, they're not worth the price point that she's selling them at. Next, 
step. Um, I'm going to darken the crease a little bit and I'm going to take the brush that the palette came with. It's a nice little blending brush. It kind of reminds me of the MAC uh, 217 brush. Very similar. And then I'm going to be taking the color cinnamon right here and I'm putting that in the crease. Since these aren't super pigmented, you don't really have to tap off the excess. And because we did put the transition colors earlier, um, this is going to make the eyeshadows blend way easier. Sorry about the quality of the videos, I know it's not the best. But I don't have a camera, so you kind of have to work with what you want. I get it even more, and we're going to put Duke in the crease. Now taking a clean MAC 217 brush, I'm just going to blend out the edges. And then we're going to go back with the first brush that we use, the Morphe M505 brush. And I'm going back in with Sorbet. And I'm just blending out right here. And I like to use um, lighter colors because they kind of act as an eraser if you feel like you put too much pigment or if you just need to soften the edges. Okay, and then for the final lid color, we're, I'm going to go in with Crush. And then again with the MAC 217 blending. I'm gonna go do my face makeup and then I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. And now that I look like a crazy person, we can move on to the bottom, aka the blue part of the eyeshadow. I'm gonna be taking this Maybelline New York Lasting Drama Waterproof Gel Pencil, and the color is Lustrous Sapphire. While that's wet, the royal color brush that I'm using is a Morphe E36. Okay, we're going to go ahead and do the same for the other eye. To smoke out the lower lid, we're going to take the same uh, Morphe E36 brush and we're going to go ahead and take the peachy color right here. You're just going to go right underneath that blue. And then we're going to go ahead and take cinnamon, same brush, and just go on the outer corners. Make sure there's no harsh lines. I'm going to take my Morphe M321 little pencil brush, and I'm taking Sorbet. Go ahead 
and powder contour and hoi light. I like using the Kat Von D shade and light. I like to build up the contour. I don't like just to go in with the darkest color because then you'll look weird and muddy. So I'm going to take this middle color right here first. On an Equal Tools little Walmart brush. Love it. Then, if you have a double chin like I do, I take the darker the darkest color in the palette, and I make a double chin. See the difference? Then I'm going to take this Real Techniques brush, I'm taking the middle highlight color, and just going over where I highlighted in. Then we're going to go ahead and snatch the nose, take the same little pencil brush. The Morphe M321, and I'm gonna take the lightest color in the palette and just go over where I already have the contour. Just to make sure the contour looks natural, make sure you connect it to the beginning of your eyebrows. And to sharpen the edges of that, I'm taking this little e.l.f. contouring brush and going in with that color. The reason I highlight on the edge of my nose, on the sides of my nose, is because it makes this area look more in and it gives the illusion of a smaller nose. And then I just go over that with a fluffy brush and make sure it's all blended. Then I'm going to highlight using my matte soft and gentle and I'm taking a Sigma tapered highlighting brush. I don't really like to use a lot of highlighter because I do have textured skin. so. I'm taking, this looks like peach to me, but, um, I'm taking Milani Powder Blush in number 5 Coral Cove Stippling Brush. And then a trick I like to do, I like to take a powder foundation like the MAC Studio Fix Powder. Mine's broken, but I will show you, but yeah, I just take it in your skin color and you just buff everything together. And then see how it makes everything just look more blended together. And take my Pixi Skin Treats Hydrating Milky Mist. Ooh, ooh. Then we're gonna go ahead in with mascara, uh, LA Girl Wispy Luscious Length Mascara. A little bit on the bottom, not too much. Then 
And then we're gonna go in with lashes. My favorite lashes right now are the Makeup Shack Eye Popping Lashes. I've worn these lashes to death. Um, I've worn them probably like five times already, but um, these do last a long time if you care for them properly. Ugh, so gorgeous. Going in with my dual lash adhesive. Okay, and while we wait for that to get tacky, like your boyfriend, we're gonna go ahead and do our lips. We're gonna go in with two colors. We're gonna go in with Razor and BFF, both from ColourPop. And then we're gonna go on top of that with BFF. This is pretty much like a lip gloss in a stick form. It's really weird. I don't know how to describe it. And then we're gonna blot that so you don't look like a crazy person. Gorgeous. Okay, our lashes should be done. Tacky fine. Put those little suckers on. I'm gonna drop my mirror. Gorgeous. How gorgeous is this eyelash? Like, let me go put on a wig and I'll be right back. Alright you guys, here's the completed look using the Kylie Royal Peach Palette. Um, I really hope that you guys learned something from this video. I really hope that you guys enjoyed it. Leave me a comment down below. Let me know what you guys want to see, uh, tutorials, if you want to see a makeup review, if you want advice, just let me know in the comment section down below. I do read all the comments and I do appreciate every single one of you guys. If you did learn something or if you do like my videos, please, please, please give me a thumbs up, leave me a comment, and subscribe. Thank you so much, you guys. I'll see you next time. Bye.